Hi YouTube and fellow IoT nuts, XBMC nut here. Um, I wanted to show you a a feature that was released probably in the last um, two months into um, Home Assistant that uh, publishes all of your sensors um, out to your NQTT broker, and um, that is called NQTT State Stream. So what I wanted to show you is, uh, I've got my um, little dashboard running in there, I'll just bring that up um, full screen. So that is the dashboard that I've built with MQTT dashboard, and all of those values uh, are being published to the broker automatically by Home Assistant. So uh, if you look up MQTT state stream on Home Assistant's website, you'll uh, see a bit of information there, but I'll show you how it works. And uh, what you're going to have to do in your configuration.yaml is add MQTT state stream, as I've done there, and choose a base topic. That's the basic information that you need. So I believe the default uh, base topic is Home Assistant, so I just shorten mine to HASS. And to show you how that works, um, I use uh, this program, which is MQTTFX, uh, or MQTT.FX. Um, I'm running the latest version, 1.5.0, and this is um, blimmin' awesome. So this allows you to have a look at everything that's going backwards and forwards and publish to your broker and, and basically sniff what's going on. So I've connected to my Home Assistant instance, and what I want to do is I want to look at the MQTT state stream. So I want to look at everything that's coming from HASS and being published to the broker. And I can do that by putting in my topic, which if I go back here, was my base topic was HASS. So I'll put in HASS and then forward slash and then a hash, which is wildcard. So that's basically uh, every subtopic. Um, after that, bring it on in. Now, when I push this, it's going to go crazy. So, we're going to subscribe to everything. And um, there you go. Bing, bing, bing. So, everything is coming in. And what you can do is just scroll through that and have a look at what, um, what system that you want to pick. So, that's just going to keep going. No, so if I unsubscribe, that's going to lose it. I'm just going to go back and subscribe again. So if we look at this one, the Hass um, Sun Sun State, it says here the payload is above horizon. Um, but if I look at some of my others. Um, here we go. Uh, one of my smoke detectors is off or clear. Um, let's have a look at one. Motion sensor off. Um, illumination level. So that's one of my, that's actually a um, Xiaomi uh, gateway. So that's the illumination in the rumpus room that that can get. So if you want to subscribe um, to a topic, then you simply copy it and um, put it into MQTT dashboard and bang, you've got a dashboard. It, it's very, very quick. What I'm going to do is unsubscribe to that and show you another way that you can sniff all the topics in Home Assistant. And I've subscribed to the broker. You've got a little scan button down here, which is released in the last couple of versions. So if you just go and scan that, that will collect all the topics that uh, it can see. And then the nice thing with that, so if I want to look at, come down here and have a look at this one, I can just right click on it and go subscribe. And that's telling me I've created a, um, a binary sensor which gives me my uh, high tide and my local beach, which is 30 seconds away. So I can grab the paddleboard and hen on down. So it's telling me the payload is high tide uh, at 10.19. Now if I look at my um, dashboard that I created, get that back up, uh, W, there we go. Um, that is here, next high tide at uh, tonight at um, 10.19. So I won't be paddleboarding in the dark. 
but um, yeah, that's how I created these. So the next video, I'll show you how uh, I created this dashboard. And I did this all on the Android tablet. So I'll show you how to sniff everything using a, um, an MQTT uh, client on Android. How to copy the topic and then how to create um, very, very quickly a dashboard like this in MQTT dashboard. Thanks for watching.